Uh, okay, I'm gonna start the lightning talk on um, uh, Foam. Uh, I'm a co-founder of Foam, which is a protocol uh, built on blockchain technology. Uh, and specifically, we're looking to bring geospatial standards, protocols, and proof of location to Web3. Uh, Web3.0 might be something not everyone has heard of, but it's kind of an explosion of new applications being built uh, utilizing blockchain technology in all different domains from insurance uh, to IoT to um, what have you. And we started to realize that there are no geospatial standards whatsoever, uh, just simply about how do you encode information or visualize it uh, using blockchain. And we started to work on this protocol uh, to pr start to bring location and spatial tools to that technology. Um, so just in general, uh, a protocol is kind of a fancy way to talk about a standard language. Um, you can think of them as something like HTTP or SMTP um, for email, and usually they're under the hood, things the end user doesn't know about. Um, but previously, there was no way to actually be a stakeholder in a protocol formally. Like, there was no way to invest in HTTP or what have you. Um, and basically, the introduction of Bitcoin was the first time that the blockchain was used, but also the first time it became possible to become a financial owner in a protocol. Uh, and that basically happens um, through digital scarcity of something called tokens. So uh, you have a protocol backed by a token. It allows ownership as well as governance rights. Uh, and that's kind of a brand new thing that Bitcoin had introduced. And with the Foam protocol, we have our own token to kind of back the spatial entity. Um, so we're built on something called the Ethereum blockchain, which allows anyone to build uh, programmable applications. And there are people working on these applications, and the Foam protocol kind of works as a protocol in between, bringing spatial standards and tools. Um, and we had a token sale this summer, uh, where we distributed tokens to people who wanted to participate as cartographers in our system. And this is kind of a visualization of the distribution that we had. We had a, a bit over 1,000 people participate, but spread out around the world. Uh, and they're now currently using our protocol that was just launched uh, two weeks ago. Um, so our project has uh, multiple elements, uh, like, like what we call a crypto spatial coordinate. It's a location encoding standard. We have uh, s tools to do spatial indexing and visualizing. And ultimately, we're working on how to prove location in a decentralized way. Um, so I'm going to just focus on this spatial index visualizer that we had built. Um, so generally, just for these blockchain applications, there's no way to connect the data to any sort of front end uh, mapping system. Um, so this is kind of an example of what we came up with called the spatial index. It's the front end we've developed. It's completely general purpose for these blockchain applications. And so what it actually is is a React uh, web app um, and using uh, the Mapbox SDK, so built on OSM as a base map. And we also use Uber's DeckGL tool um, to kind of visualize that data. Um, but this is also a Web3 application. So if you're connected to the blockchain in your browser, you can actually add things to the map, and it gets pushed to the blockchain. And our backend indexer uh, running on Amazon AWS uh, in a Kubernetes clusters can pick up that data and send it to the front end as a normal WebSocket. So uh, this is a general purpose tool that we built for blockchain developers uh, as a way to connect the blockchain to a front end that has a map attached to it. So if you start to add geodata to these blockchain contracts, you have a way uh, to basically render them on a map. Um, so that's a general purpose tool we've built. But uh, for the protocol and where the token comes in, we're focusing on proving location. And specifically, the product we just launched is on static proof of location. So that's how do we come to consensus or verification on things on the map that don't move. Um, and for that, we do use something called the token curated registry. So a registry is a fancy way of like maintaining a list. And as a cartographer in the system, you can basically add things to this list or curate it in that way. Um, so as we know, a big topic uh, at this conference has been about how do we solve vandalism or the verification aspect. And there are many different approaches that people are taking, but we do know it's kind of an unsolved problem. Um, so in our system, we use this location encoding standard, uh, which is kind of for another talk, combined with this registry system, which is also a general purpose like blockchain primitive. And we are combining them to try to make a list of geospatial information. Um, so it might be hard to see, but the way that it works in the system is when you want to add a point to the map, you also must make a deposit in these tokens. Um, and you basically own this money. You don't have to spend it to anyone, but you're kind of putting a pledge down saying, I believe this is the veracity of this information is correct, and I don't think anyone will challenge me, so I'm willing to put some sort of value behind this addition to the map. 
Um, but if somebody does have an issue with whatever you added to the map, or maybe a year later they come and find it and they think it's outdated, they can challenge you with an equal amount of tokens. And essentially that then opens up a poll for anyone else who's an owner in the protocol or owner in the system to be able to vote on that aspect. Um, and there's different parameters of how long that voting process is, and people can change those meta parameters, but essentially if uh, the point is voted off the map, it'll be deleted, and if it stays on, it uh, stays on, but then uh, tokens are rewarded to either side. So there's this kind of incentive to participate in the verification process, because if you find something you wanted to challenge or you participate in a vote and you win, you can win these tokens that have a value. So we're, there's plenty of altruistic incentives for people to want to contribute to mapping. There's currently no um, incentives for people to do the verification. So this is one way to go about solving that. Um, so this is the application we've just launched called the Foam Map. It's uh, map.foam.space. Uh, I can demo it in a second, but to interact with it, you need uh, these tokens, and essentially, uh, the blue points are pending points on the map, uh, green are ones that are verified, and red are ones that are currently in a challenge. And so if you find one that's red, you can basically vote if it should be there or not, um, et cetera, or you can add new ones. Um, and so this is kind of what the interface looks like, where you can investigate points, uh, and you could initiate a challenge if you wanted to. Um, and you can keep track of kind of the points that you're a part of. Um, that's kind of it. But the main idea is we're building this uh, for the blockchain ecosystem. So these points then would be referenced by applications that we built on top of it. And it's kind of the first starting point for bringing geospatial data over to that new ecosystem. So happy to answer any questions, but thanks for your attention. Okay, sure. Thanks.